and he was from other parts of Africa. South Sudan's two most powerful politicians gave assurances on Friday that they would not lead the country back into war as they marked its 10th birthday. And Pope Francis said he would visit if they did more to maintain a fragile peace. Violence exploded in South Sudan in late 2013, two years after it seceded from Sudan, when President Salva Kiir and ethnic Dinka sacked Vice President Riek Macha from the rival Noah Group. The two men have signed several deals to end a war that, fueled by long-standing ethnic tensions, is estimated to have killed more than 400,000 people, finally forming a national unity government last year. Kerr dissolved the parliament in May, paving the way for an expanded and more inclusive legislature of 550 members. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.